tutorial on how to upload your gallery here at Darkest Goth Magazine. I'm going to be using our dear friend Cody McKaylee as an example as I create a brand new gallery for him and you can go through and do the same sort of thing when you're uploading your gallery here at Darkest Goth. First off, you should have already created your account or it's been created for you. Um, so when you go to the login page at darkestgoth.com slash login, um, you'll have a username blank and a password. I've typed in his name and password here. And so I'm going to click login and don't save. And that logs me in. The first place I'm in is what we call the log dashboard. You'll notice down here it says edit bio pick and login. This is where you can put in a new password. You can put your bio and your pick sure to show people who you are. And that's important because that will be in everything that you post. It will be right at the bottom. You have your submission guidelines, which you do want to check through and look and make sure that what you're submitting is under our guidelines, like we don't accept nudity, things like that. If you want to apply for spokesmodel, you've got that information right there. And um, for us right now, we're going to choose submit gallery. Okay. And so we click there. And then down here, we see that there are some different options. If you are a model, you may it would select a gallery with a single photographer or with multiple photographers. Now, ideally, one model and one photographer are best, but we know that that doesn't always work that way. So sometimes you do end up needing to have a couple different photographers, and there you'd click multiple photographers. Um, in this situation, it's with one photographer, actually myself. Um, and then you can see below, if you're a photographer, um, you would go down here and choose featuring a single model or multiple models. Again, for photographers, single model is the best choice there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click with single photographer and for a model here. And then this gives you information about our posting rules and things like that. The key elements, if you click the posting rules, um, that tells, again, what things you can submit, how do you submit them, um, content for official consideration, things of that nature. Um, do look over that. Make sure you do understand that. But after you've looked through that, you need to have six, preferably eight to 12 images to submit. And make sure your gallery images are 900 to 1,000 pixels wide or high without enlarging them. Um, there's a link right here that will let you resize bigger pictures. If you have images that are on Facebook, most of Facebook's pictures are 960 pixels wide or high. So most Facebook pictures will work there. Um, if you're using other pictures, also make sure that they are less than 600K in file size. Most Facebook pictures are, but if you're uploading them yourself, you want to make sure of that. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a title for your gallery. In this situation, um, we have Cody McKaylee, and he was a big top, uh, a big top showman. So, Cody McKaylee, big top showman, and we put in user gallery. Okay. Excerpt about the gallery, that's just going to show up when people are doing searches for it. And this is a gallery showcasing Cody McKaylee at the recent Darkest Goth Cirque de Monsters event as a big top ringleader. Photographer is Darkest Goth Photography. Okay. Now we scroll down and you'll see search terms. This allows people to find your gallery. So Cody McKaylee will already be in there, but let's say um, Big Top Circus um, a High Hat. Uh, coat and red tie because he's wearing a red tie. Um, then we go down here and we look to make sure that our things are the right sizes. This is just a reminder. 
Um, there is a featured image, which is going to be 500 pixels wide, 500 or 600 pixels wide, and a banner image that is 1,500 pixels wide. So that's a little bit of an exception there, and we use those for different parts of advertising for the site. So um, the featured image right here, I click that, and that's going to be a square image. And over here, you'll see I have this, uh, I've created a thing of photos for this gallery. And you'll see I've created one that says Cody McKaylee uh, featured, and that is uh, a square picture, pic that's a square one. So you can even see when I put this one right here, I've actually got it at 600 pixels by 600, but 500 or 600 is fine. Click OK. And you see that's 37 kilobytes in size. I don't need to put a caption on featured images. Um, banner images, if I look at what a banner is, to get a preview of that, here's one. You can see this area up here, this is the banner for this picture for Parquet. And uh, so that gives me an example of what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select image right here. And you'll notice I have this one 1,500 pixels by 300. And you can crop that in that pick resize link up there or in Photoshop, um, whatever you have. If you can't have, if you have no way to crop it, you can just put a wide enough picture here, and that's all right. And you can just hover over top and see, oh, this is 1,500 by 300 right there. So we click OK. And then about the gallery, again, we don't have to put a caption or description for banner images. Um, about the gallery, I'm just going to tell a little bit about this. And that's going to go in the actual page. That will be different than that excerpt. So I had the pleasure of shooting with Darkest Goth photography at the recent green screen made easy event and had a blast and you know as I'm writing it from Cody's perspective I might put in Cody there and we tend to make those in uh, block quotes so if you click that those will automatically be set up right there and they'll be they'll look really nice and uh, I'm just going to leave it to the left. That's good. And bold, just because that kind of pops it. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click my gallery images. So I select an image. Okay. So this first one, you'll see I have a total of, let's see, it won't let me select them all with this one, but I believe it's like 11 images. So 8 to 12 or 13 images is a good amount. So I'm going to click open there. And I can just keep clicking and adding images. And if I ever want to delete as I go through, I can click those. Um, and then I'll click that. And then let's see, I'm going to go with this one here because I kind of like that one. It's real, really flourishy. We're going to do a six image one for this first one. Um, just because it's the same whether I'm doing 6 or 12 or what have you. Um, so we'll go through, and uh, here's one. I like that one. Okay. So we've got that, and what we're going to do here is, this is ringleader. Um, uh, one. So I would, since this is the, let's see, what do we call this gallery? Um, Big Top Showman. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go back down here and say Big Top Showman 1 and then Big Top Showman 2, Big Top Showman 3, Big Top Showman 4, Big Top Showman 5, and Big Top Showman 6, right? And I'm going to actually make the caption the same as that title. And, okay, oops. Did that, okay, there, oh. Top Showman 3, there we go. Copy, boom. And Control Copy, Control Copy, Control V, 
Control copy, Control V. And then in the description, we're going to say who the model is, is Cody McKaylee, and then photographer, darkest goth photo, and or photography. And that's going to stay the same in every description because it's just one model and one photographer. Obviously, if you have different photographers, for some of yours, you're going to do it differently. So there we go. Now we've made sure we had all of those. Now the model is Cody McKaylee. And where is his website? I go over. I've already looked up. Okay, his is Facebook.com. He's Modified Rabbit. That is his name. And... Uh, right there and uh, oh, now the photographer that is darkest goth photography and it is our Facebook is make sure you hit control V otherwise it'll do that goofiness darkest goth photo like that and then it says down at the bottom, by agreeing to this, you agree to follow the DGM posting rules. Great. I click submit. If I ever have to interrupt my posting, I can click save draft. But in general, you're just going to want to hit submit. And then, as soon as that's there, it'll say success. We currently proof all submissions. And if your, if your gallery is of high enough caliber, we'll promote it to official contributors. So we are going to proof that. And uh, then we'll schedule it. Now that process can take two weeks to a month, depending on the time. Sometimes it's sooner than that. But we try to always email you and let you know 